Hi, and welcome again with our third video. As we said, we are talking today about payment gateways. We choose to try to talk about it. So, uh, in, we are in the third, third video today. As we promised last video, we said we'll talk about a custom forum or customization forum, how to custom our forum. Or sometimes we have forum, uh, the forums working in the Stripe not supported by browsers or by uh, mobile, mobile. Some mobile browser, they don't support that one. So Stripe, they put uh, options. They give you a forum. You can customize it. You can edit it how you like. So this the the forum the the or the simple forum they provided by uh, Stripe. So uh, what we will do we'll do different things. We'll write or we'll or we'll create our forums. Will be let's suppose input box for our uh, card number. Will be expiration date. Add same that for the CVC number. So. Uh, Actually, there is many examples in the in the main website in the Stripe website. You can, see, as you see here, they give you this forum. They provide you the HTML and the CSS and the Java. It's very nice and very simple. And same time, they give you more examples. In this one, you can copy any one of them. But the, where is the problem here with this forums? Uh, this forums or uh, they are designed or they write it using uh, I think bootstrap 3 when you take it to your uh, website <laughs> it will not work because I believe that many people that are using bootstrap uh, 4 so it will be uh, difficult to use it so what we'll do we can use uh, something or write something by ourselves uh, okay, let's, let me show you. Maybe you can start. Just uh, it will be simple. I'm not. To we'll try to not make it complicated at the same time. So uh, first things I need to do. I need to delete this one. We'll have some JavaScript. I will copy the ja great JavaScript. I don't need to you to be uh, scared from this code. Because just need to copy it same new. Nothing more than that. Because this one, all this uh, code provided by them. I will post my JavaScript here. Uh, this JavaScript here, it's taking the key. I can write the key straight away here too, no problem. Uh, just, just everything is just to to customize your form, nothing more than that. So this one will create the card and will create the amount and the amount the card number. Uh, this one you can find it in the documentation in their website if you need to understand more about it. So after that, I need to create my. Uh, Uh, the inputs because here they, they don't use the input they use spams so let me show you what they are using here I need yeah, to show you something better here okay copy it from my PC okay I will put it in this one I need to close my forum even I need the Submit button. Uh, submit button with the. Uh, yeah, okay. I need to put this one here. As you can see, okay, I don't need total. Token. Why we put token here? Because this one, it will need not support the token. So here, what we have, say in the button here token id put it in the stripe token so after you create the forum when we press submit before go to the controller i need to give me the token and put it in stripe token class it will be here this one and here i need to create uh yeah let's make it not complicated i need to make it uh, maybe Something more professional, maybe. Uh, let me create a model form here. Uh, class, what we'll call it? Uh, let's call it pay model view. So, in this model view, we'll, we'll have you can have 
whatever you want here uh, let's say we'll have the probably let's say a token will be string um, we can put the total okay let's make it a bit complicated let's say our uh, total will be double get set okay well let me take the name okay I need to include it here as model it's just try with up the model but this one okay so I prepare my page I don't want this hidden just I'm gonna show you this should be hidden but I will show you let's say input uh, ASP dash for will be for who it will be for we say total yes total total uh, I don't need that more than this enough I need to add one more thing so forget it I need to add the email maybe uh, I don't know you need email let me see here what we have here there and this one I think we need the email too yeah let's put the email too here let's say say string email okay thank you here let's back this one let's say here let's say email and type where's the email this here okay so we have our submit should be here type submit equal submit that's great so we have email payment everything here and this here as we as I told you just just forum simple forum I need to send to I think charge or change what the name was here charge here yeah exactly go to home post the name needed for the JavaScript here okay uh, okay now let's back to the back here now here will be different because we are receiving different data the data I will receive will be from pay model view let's say data coming from there so I need here to say data dot I need my email it's very important here you need the data to prepare your token to here too and the email will be data dot email and here you can change you say the amount will be uh, uh, data dot to total total so but the total here they said here they need int we need to convert that to int I don't know why they say to int there you go okay should be great now I think here nothing will be changed but here you search see we customize our data so we are sending we receiving anything we need inside this forum it's not only the token or the email we are sending now the total from here to uh, let me just run and see how it will be here now it's a bit difficult or more harder than what we are using uh, but you need to do something like that so maybe you need more uh, things I think we need the error let's not see one one by one so you see here now it's a bit different because you can't change it as we like see here would be let me check what we have missed here so in the error they said you have something here mistake it's actually not mistake it's you need to include the j query so jQuery we have your jQuery let me check jQuery jQuery yes we have jQuery and we need 
font or some I don't know if it's gonna aim with this one. Let me just put font awesome with it. Where is font awesome here? What the heck is that? Okay. Font. Uh, okay, we can run it till that we get that one. No problem. working here okay I think it's working yeah nice so that's a great let me just put the font also for you here and the top I think come here save it that's bad again let's refresh it one more time Take time payments, yeah. This for I'm showing this icon is only no more. Uh, I think it's a bit ugly. Uh, so, just I need to change the forum or leave it. We can do where is it uh, here? It choose class center. I don't know if we can say. Row. Yeah, just to see how is it. Uh, no problem. <laughs> I need just to stick this one now. So I need uh, now. Uh, we need test card. Let's go to uh, Stripe test card. Let me check. Just get test card. So here will be the card. This is CVC number and the expiration expiration date so all this will be in, uh, let's suppose I need to write name I can write here if I write number it's all right okay it's see it came from the uh, JavaScript okay and here on my one two three and the expiration date 10 it came by default all this one so now if I say pay it should give me the token Sorry, I forgot to write here. So let's suppose this first one token. Uh, I don't know which one email. Let's suppose 10. No, I can check here. Because we came everything here. Now just a token with it. See, that's the token we have here. Uh, let me again re rerun it again. I just want to show you how it will be. Um, okay. So let's add the card same card number one two three ten twenty twenty uh, here will be token so here will be the amount let's say twenty after not twenty two hundred after that we'll say uh, email s at s dot com so if I say pay it will come here my data where's my data now here so this is my email, my token, my amount. This is what I want exactly. This is what they call it the customize customization for this one, for the payment. Uh, what we can do more? So uh, let me continue on this one first. So let's suppose uh, someone. Let's back again here. Let's suppose someone. Sorry, refresh this one. So let's suppose someone write this number. Okay. It's showing red straight away. It's this number. It's not. Uh, it's not exist or not correct. So I suppose I need to pay, but you're not showing me anything. I need to show because they give you an option to show you the, the the message. So if you go to the your forum in the forum, the button here after email, you can see before the submit. You can just write the uh, any ID, any anything you write dev or anything, but you say card error this automatically will come from your JavaScript from the result if the result error they will show you what is the error so let's save it let's back again to our front and refresh it so now let's suppose pay 
will say to you complete your card or something like that if I write my card like this anything 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 pay your email well okay pay it will not show you anything till your card is invalid that's a briefly what is stripe there is many many things many more options in the documentation you can use it this is what I have used here it just with a web application with ASP.NET Core um, you can use it with Android and they have more new more options you can integrate it with PayPal with uh, Google Pay with Microsoft Pay there is more options you can find it in your dashboard for this one and now I say to you bye bye